What is it? Indeed I do. Is that it then? Hello. I keep. Until next time. Okay. Ron hopes the best thing that's happened to us. How did? Ahem. <clears throat> Payday is always a good day. You ready to do some business? Some rules. If there's one place there's some law and order in this town, it's here. Don't even think about stealing anything. No haggling. The price and might be some other rule. I didn't start this way. Got myself robbed a few times. Swindled a couple. So now I look out for number one. And it's not like there's anywhere else on this rock to buy weapons. You may be thinking this place is a dump, but the hardware isn't. Lots of customers pass through. We got something for everyone. Good. Hello. What did you need? If there's anything you need, I am happy to sh You do not need to ask me if you may ask. You may just ask. Right. Do you need something? I hope I'm I like it here. Very few rules. People know how to look the other way. And so many strangers coming and going all the time. A good place for business. Do you agree? I like it here. Very few rules. People know how to look the other way. And so many strangers coming and going. Do you agree? It is no neon. This is true. I have a small package that need... I need someone dis... The package is contraband. If the authorities find it... It will not be good. If your ship has space for special cargo, can you handle a job? Deliver the package to- This would hardly be the first time I engaged in such an activity, but usually I am- Do not get caught. I wish I could go with you on your ship, but I'm not old enough. Boss, when I grow up, I'm gonna be a Freestar Ranger! I don't want to hear any complaints. Keep an eye on your valuables.
You can't protect your own. You don't belong here. Smugglers always like to use Hope Tech ships to resemble legitimate transports. <laughs> I wonder how the company feels about that. But we'd be dust, except for the factory. I have never liked Hope Tech ships. Though I suppose that is hardly the point of them. Off-worlders. Welcome to Hope Tech Sales. Give me your invoice. Oh, a potential customer. Well, what you need to know about our ships? Of Star Yards might got glit with Hope Tech. Listen, this whole system was nothing until Ron Hope came. He gave us a purpose. To us, this job is life. And the quality of what we make shows it. When it gets tough, pretty won't keep you... So what are you in the market? Right away. Hope Tech never sleeps. Let me show you our inventory. You ever check out the prices Welcome at Hope Tech. How you may I help buy, like, you? Have a nice Hope day. Tech ships for the same price. Sounds like me. What can I do for you? I'm a little busy, but uh, I think I could spare some time. Oh, you should have just said that. Of course I can help you. Oliver sent a courier ahead of you. I did some research on ships from that era, and I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. So grab drives didn't really take off until after the ship was built. But... I've got access to an ancient grav drive that looks like it could be compatible. It's some minor adjustment. Parts not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor, and it's yours. It's a pretty big ask. True. I keep telling myself I'm holding on to it for the right time. Perhaps this is that right time. I hear you. I'm trying to be reasonable here. Tell you what. Sounds like this is for a good cause. While I can't give you the part for free, I won't charge you for the work. You're done right it is. I'll get... I recommend you go back to the ship and ask the captain to prepare for its retrofit. We'll send the part along. Pleasant working with you. Just keep it holstered. We'll get along fine. Workers like to play hard here. They deserve it. Party. Smugglers always like to use Hope Tech ships to resemble legitimate transports. <laughs> I wonder Looks like how another newcomer. About that. Welcome to the pit stop. We have a little bit of everything. What uh, brings you to Hope Town? Just once, I want to hear someone's here for a honeymoon. A word of warning, it can get a... Keep your gun holstered. Hardly. A lot of my patrons just got done with a shift. 
throw some of the hard stuff in there, well, but they're good people. Oh, you just became my... You need anything? Here's the menu. Welcome back. Did you really think you could just walk off with that? There was a deep hauler, said she picked up some sort of distress, responding to distress calls. No. Well, have fun doing, well, whatever you do. Always something good on around here. Just three more to go until break. Ron Hope's a damn hero. Terrible, terrible. It was terrible. It was the, it's the worst.
Oh! Need a moment to walk that off? Glad to see you're back in one piece.
That's good, Captain. Achieving orbit now. Howdy, Skipper. Live my entire life in the continent. Not sure how else to live. Never seen a ship like yours before. Then again, I haven't seen any ships before you arrived. People always appreciate a good engineer, whether they know it or not. <laughs> I was hoping to talk to our visitor from outer space, and here you are! Welcome, welcome! I have a million burning questions, but I won't overwhelm you. There will be plenty of time for that later. Please, indulge me just a couple. How did you do it? Did humanity finally discover faster-than-light travel and eclipse our poor old ship? Oh! I've heard of this technology, but always believed it was theoretical in nature. Maybe we can talk about it in more detail later. I'm sure you have more pressing matters to handle. I've waited this long. What's a little longer, eh? Oh, I've got so many questions, but I'm being rude. I haven't even given you my name. Chief Engineer Kazemi, but you can call me Amin. And, I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today.
Indeed. Thank you for being so kind and indulging me. You must understand how thrilling this news is for someone like me. Someone who suspected this encounter was, in fact, possible. Ah, great question. I do not know for sure, but I can venture a guess. All of the reading I've done on the matter suggests that at the time, there was uncertainty that the technology would ever work, or if it did, that it would work at the scale we needed. So, I trust they made the decision to strike out when they did, fully believing it was the only way. What grab drive? <laughs> Just joking with you. The Paradiso engineers filled me in. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Hmm. All right. This will be fun. And hopefully there will be no explosions in the process. I have just received word that the drive is here. Ready to get to work? You do? Well, this should be a bit easier, though I must remind you, the ship is much older than the ones you're likely used to working on. So, listen to me first. First thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Then, turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Last, you'll need to decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Got it? Let's hop to it! some slight power fluctuation in the heating and cooling system. Looks like Yeah, we're running low on replacement parts for that one, so make do with what you can. The constant is a peaceful ship. Don't change that. Careful waving that fancy gun around. You don't need to. Now that we know what's out there, things are gonna be more interesting from here now on. Now that out. you're here, I can find Well, well. It would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Thank you again for all you've done. We don't yet know, but we did receive a star map from the Paradiso engineers. I suppose we'll just... Chart a course for other suitable habitable worlds until we find one that matches the quality of Paradiso. Um, Purima 2 here. Without you, we'd most likely be stuck. But you went above and beyond. I'll make sure people tell tales of your generosity for as long as our society lives. I don't know if we can ever fully repay you. Thank you again.
to have brought this ship so far over such a long time. Worthy of the pride these portraits show. Lucky we're under orders not to escort you right off this ship. Just stay out of trouble. We were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. Always a if you are free soon, could we talk? Captain? Star space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. All right, you're good. Welcome to Aquila City. Checks out.
All right, we're here. Goodbye. You ready to head out? There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co. First man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the empty nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Yeah, and the Coers have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger-than-life figure if you read the histories, but if you just listen to a few recordings of the man, he was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local Gal Bank. We'll be heading there. Here. I have Listen. Peas well, I see your parents stuff. didn't skimp on your P's and Q's. I spotted it on our last planetary foray. All part of the service. Hey, I'm gonna pick things up one way or the other. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Yes? I wanted to thank you for giving me the chance to work with you. I know we met under, um, unusual circumstances. You seem to be acclimating well to Constellation. Are you enjoying working with them? I think none of us were expecting what we have found. Well, perhaps, Matteo, you have certainly become a vital part of the organization. That is a credit to your abilities. If I may, from what you have seen, do you think I fit in well with the rest of Constellation? No, I do not. But I find it hard to quantify. Many of the other members are polite, but distant. I worry that my background and my actions concern them. I have not shared much, but everyone knows I worked with smugglers for years. I am no stranger to violence and death. I know. For those that have not lived it, it can be difficult to imagine or accept. Others here have seen conflict, but for more noble causes. Vladimir is the only one here who can begin to understand. He was the one who pressed the group to include me. I lack his charm. He puts others at ease. I fear my presence does the opposite. Uh, that is kind of you. You also... Uh, <laughs> I am... I, I find expressing affection difficult, but... Um, but truly. Thank you. I know this seems trivial, uh, perhaps childish. I have just always relied only on myself. I have never been surrounded by people like this, by a group I, I wish to be a part of. Does that make sense? Thank you. That is reassuring. Discussing these things is 
challenging for me. I hope now you can better understand why I wanted to keep the circumstances of our meeting quiet. I wanted to thank you for not saying anything to Vladimir. I know that you said you wouldn't, but it is still a relief. I would like my contributions to Constellation to amount to more than violence. It would have been, to some. Thank you for talking this over with me. It is good to know that at least one member of Constellation understands me. Your ship's not half bad. Aquila City's always hopping. Did you need something? Back to it then. Tech free? That's not a problem. And you're springing for the new reactor? It's pretty it's dangerous. It's still under medical. Need space some work done? These days. Okay, no problem. I'm sure you can find something you like. Yes. Can I get an invoice? Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steal. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. You're Sam Coe. Marshal will be damn glad to have another Free Star Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. I guess that'd be the marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbang vault. We better see if we can help move this situation along. Planning to tell me your demand at some point. I get all kinds. Feel free to look around. Stay calm and let our security forces do their work. I'm just saying, my family was on the front of the ship. Yeah. 
Yeah? What? Or, sorry, I thought you were someone else. Ah, so you're the delivery per... Oh, no. Next time a friend comes in, we really appreciate the expedited customs treatment. Evening, sir. If you're looking for a weapon, outlaws, Ash, you see him all right. You need to stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't... Now, please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know... I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. I'm glad I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keep... They're using the intercom to... They won't talk to me. Say... In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so there's... Hmm. Say what you have. Also, find out what they want. Take it slow and steady. Those guys are scared. I can tell. Hey! Negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Uh, it's Jed. Jed Bullock. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? <laughs> I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? I, uh, I see what you mean. Well, I guess you have a point. Oh, I'm so ready to get out of here. Okay, fine. I guess that's true. All right. I believe you. Okay. I can see you're not just the marshal's tool. You want what we want. A nice, happy ending where nobody gets hurt. So let's talk. talk too damn much. Complain about everything. But as much as we'd like to, none of us has shot one yet. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. Well, 
drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are and the marshal. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? What, do you think we want to stay locked up in here? Hell no! Oh, hell, the Freestar Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. This whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. judge won't come down too hard on us. Yeah. I think this has gone on long enough. You go tell the marshal we'll come quietly. You'd make a decent ranger with the way you handled that. Don't forget, there are... What's the word? Well, I'll be a son of an Ashta. How'd you pull that off? Considering those are Shaw's people, that's damn near a miracle. Here. You... you got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might... If you're interested, head on over to... All right. Joke. Now that lives aren't on the line, let's get back in Galbag, see if we can get those maps. Okay, we'll take it from here. Back, back from the dead.